Hello everybody one more time, my name is Alex Centeno. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very fast tutorial, hopefully five minutes or so, and um, based on one of the questions that I received from the YouTube channel. So one of the commenters uh, said that he was uh, really happy to see how to create the GH4 vlog in DaVinci Resolve, but he was interested in a similar process done in After Effects, and he was wondering if I could show uh, the similar technique in After Effects. So what we're gonna be doing today is grading the GH4 vlog in After Effects. Now, before uh, we uh, go into it, let me just say that um, DaVinci Resolve Lite is free so you can download it for free and I think it's a much better tool for coloring than After Effects is. Um, I mean obviously After Effects is a great tool for other things that DaVinci Resolve will never do. Uh, but with that being said DaVinci Resolve is very good at what it does which is color correction so I'll probably go down that route but if for whatever reason you're already working in After Effects, um, then maybe you want to do this technique. So let's get to it. So I'm here in After Effects. Um, this version is the CC uh, 2014, but since uh, I believe it's, it's since CC, uh, After Effects comes with a free plugin called uh, Finesse, and that's what we are going to be using today. So I have here my footage and uh, this clip is from the GH4 vlog profile exposed in uh, plus one. Um, and pretty much I have it here in my timeline and uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, in, in other words, I created uh, a composition uh, and dropped the clip in the composition uh, and that's it. So first thing I'm going to create a an adjustment layer so that I'm not affecting directly in the clip itself if I need to make changes or whatnot. It's just easier. All right, and uh, let's go to our effects here and uh, search for finesse. If you don't have finesse installed, then you can actually download it um, with your license of Adobe After Effects. So let's go to full interface. So what I did is grab the plugin from effects, from the effects panel and dropped it into my adjustment layer that is going to receive all the color information that we're uh, going to be changing. And here we are. So we have uh, my uh, scopes here in the left hand side. We have our clip here. Um, and so we have our adjustments here at the bottom and you can play with those a little bit more. We're gonna just try to do this fairly quickly here. You're gonna be going to the RGB uh, tab here and we're gonna be affecting our masters. And uh, this is pretty much the same as DaVinci Resolve, Master Gamma, Pedestal and Gain in a different order. So the pedestal, we're going to be moving down. Uh, and what I want you to see is that uh, as I am moving down, I am calculating the bottom here to touch in my shadows. So in other words, the shadow information, I'm bringing it down until I'm not clipping anymore. Uh, obviously, uh, depending on uh, creative intent, I could probably go crushing my blacks even further, or if I want to uh, you know, make a, more a highlighted version, then I can leave the blacks not being completely uh, zero value. In other words, it's, it's a creative intent here, but for the most part, if what you're doing is just color correction from the GH4 V-Log to uh, uh, Rec. 709 linear uh, workspace, then you are calculating here the lowest point of your blacks in the image to be here with your pedestal. Uh, inversely, you're doing the same with the gain. So we're going up all the way here without clipping our highlights. Uh, that's our gain. And uh, I have it here at zero point, uh, at minus 0 0.16 here. And my gain at about 1.83. Um, 
that's uh, you know fairly normal for for the GH4 vlog. And then the last thing I'm changing is the gamma, uh, and I'm bringing it down to the left here. And uh, you can see like uh, the kind of curve that we're actually getting. And uh, you can see here um, about 0.62, I think that will work well, at, at least for my footage here. Uh, obviously, depending on how you exposed uh, in the ISO that you were using and whatnot, it's going to change. As I said, this footage was uh, exposed in a plus two, no, plus, plus one. Uh, to allow a little bit of more information from the shadows to go into the mids and then break them down in this post-production. So, uh, so that way you limit a little bit of the noise that you would be getting. And as you can see, like the shadows are pretty clean because of that. Um, also, let's go ahead in the HSL here, enable the HSL, and then you can increase a little bit of the vibrance and you can increase the saturation as well uh, to make it a little bit more attractive right and you can obviously play with all this as well let's hit okay uh, and then let's go ahead and do an unsharp mask effect okay and let's go ahead and grab this and drop it there and uh, here we're going to set up uh, an amount of about 200. Uh, the radius we're going to keep at 1. And then 0 0.04, or about so there, for our threshold uh, before and after. Before and after. Yeah, it's looking good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Of course, like you could go into curves and try to change uh, the direction of your uh, colors specifically to do more grading. This is more correction from a logarithmic curve to a linear curve. Let's say that you don't have finesse. And this is the last tip I'm going to give uh, in this subject here uh, today, if, if you're actually not interested in using color finesse at all. so. Let's delete this and let's say that you don't have finesse and you want to still go from log to, um, to linear. So I'm going to grab the Cineon converter, which of course you should have by default. And you can play here with the black points um, and uh, white point and whatnot. Uh, you can transform your gamma uh, and this, although not very specific to the GH4 because you can actually change the uh, the parameters for the Cineon converter you can actually get from the log to the linear uh, display uh, by using this plugin the Cineon converter so it doesn't have to be a Cineon uh, logarithmic curve specifically because you can change the parameters so this is another way to do it uh, I prefer the finesse one, um, and even further, I prefer to do with the Vinci Resolve, I think. And in a future video, we're probably going to do it also with uh, Photoshop. So creating a Photoshop LUT and then adjusting that LUT uh, inside of Photoshop, exporting that to the cube, and then importing the .cube LUT file into the Vinci Resolve and doing it there. Um, that should be pretty interesting, I think. So maybe that will be the next video. But anyways, uh, hopefully this has been uh, beneficial. And uh, thank you so much for your questions. If you have any comments or further questions, just let us know in the YouTube channel box. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.